Good greetings everyone, I'm Rusty Dog. You find me here in Houses Reach in Rubigo. Why? Because um, I'm looking for stuff to do in between now and the live build of Chapter 4 which is coming out uh, in a week's time on December the 11th, uh, a little earlier than I expected if I must say. Um, but I hope everything gets uh, squashed bug wise uh, and uh, things get tweaked so in the meantime I think the best thing we can be doing obviously you can do whatever you you want uh, but for me um, is it's going to be material gathering um, grade fours and grade fives um, so that when the chapter four comes and we have the Mamba and the Crate, which, let's face it, you're all going to want to buy, right? Either one of them or both. And they're going to need outfitting and they're going to need engineering. So, <clears throat> if we concentrate only on grade 4 and grade 5 materials, um, then we can use material traders in order to uh, trade down uh, for any 3s, 2s and 1s that we might be a little bit lacking in. So the idea is to stock up on 4s and 5s, preferably 5s, but when that's not available, 4s will do. Now here in Houses Reach, um, I'm here with my Beluga, but you can bring down any decent ship for passenger carrying. The Anaconda's good. Um, if you're on more of a tight budget, uh, you could probably, I'm not sure, I guess, I guess an Orca would be pretty good, or a Python or something. Um, just fit it out with economy, a couple of business cabins, a couple of decent sized business cabins, uh, and mainly economy. Now on this one, I have it set up uh, like so. So in my optionals, I've got two business class, uh, which can house 16 each, the rest are economy. You can get away with just doing economy, uh, then you will fit more people in, but it's not really uh, going to help you too much because every every mission you pick up here is VIP and they're not going to want to share their cabins. So it's coming down to however many compartments you have, cabins you have, is how many missions you're going to be taking. So... In my case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can take nine missions. Um, and I'm going to be very picky with the missions that I'm picking up. So this is a good one to go for, exquisite focus crystals, but unfortunately they're not going to the correct destination. What we're looking for is serious atmospherics only because that's next door, it's two jumps away for me. Now, this one offers only three. So I'm going to keep looking, and here I've got one that's offering four. Uh, the maximum is five. Thermic alloys is only grade four. Exquisite is grade five. I'd rather have four of these than five of these. So I'm really looking for five... Exquisite focus crystals or five biotech conductors or five modified embedded firmwares After that, I'm looking at grade 4 stuff <coughs> So I'm looking down the entire thing that would have been great except it's not going to the right place yeah, Let's have a look so I'll definitely 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 be taking that one So let's pick a cabin Stick them in the smallest one possible. And I'm not going to pick any others from here yet, even though um, I would be tempted to go for... Uh, where is it now? Oh, conductive polymers. Tells you here, look. Grade 4. That's fine. Um, I'm nearly stocked up on those, actually. Uh, I can't be too far away. Let's take a look. Hundred and seven, and I've also been picking up biotechs. 
So I'm nearly I'm nearly there with the biotex as well. And modified embedded firmware will be here. So I'm nearly stocking up. So I'm doing pretty well on those. And then of course the other thing is exquisite focus crystals. Um, so yeah, I would like to concentrate on those because that's the least filled of all the bins <clears throat> of the stuff you can get here. But I will definitely take conductive polymers because as soon as as soon as they are filled up, um, then I I don't need to pick any more up now. Unfortunately, I've got a yeah. It doesn't matter that there's only two or three people going in a sixteen cabin. You know, it's it's the reward that's going to count. So refined, look at it this way: exquisite focus crystals are grade five, refined focus crystals are grade four, and focus crystals are grade three. So we're going to forget those. We're just looking at sightseeing adventures. As you can see, all of these at the moment are going to serious atmospherics. That's a good one again, grade four only. That's grade four. Stock up on stuff that you're short on, I guess. Security firmware patch. Even if security firmware patch may only do uh, engineer one thing at one level. This is for trading down with. You know, and if you've got tons of them, you could even try it up. So conductive polymers again. Um, I've already got five in the thing. How many? Whoops. How many did I say that I had? Hundred and seven. So yeah, I can go up another one. But before I do that, I want to check out all of these first. Refined only grade four. Conductive polymers now. <clears throat> modified embedded firmware this is grade 5 they only they only uh dishing out 3 this one definitely 5 biotechs um they are grade 5 so we're going to pick the cabin i won't use the business ones up unless i have to but yeah definitely taking that one <clears throat> let's have a look modified embedded yeah, just the three. And I'm not ashamed here to mode swap to get myself filled up. So we'll just reinstance. We're not going to be able to do this in chapter four anyway, so I'm just going to make the most of it now. <clears throat> and then once we've done this, um, I'll show you where else you can go for some more grade fives. I hope I'm acting on a tip off. Okay, so back into the passenger lounge then, and let's go through the board again. Just taking the the prime ones first, and if we if we have to take the grade fours or the ones with the least with the lesser amounts, then we'll have to do that as well. Okay, it's taking a little while, there we go. Right, so plenty of missions here, look. 27, 16, and 19. So four biotechs, that's fine. They're grade five. So even though they're not offering five, I'll take it. And how many people? Seven. Mm. That means it's going to have to go, yeah, I'll put it in one of these, I think. Although it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's one mission per cabin. Now, divergent scan data is grade 4, so if you're short on that, you can pick that up. That's uh, encoded materials as opposed to manufactured. That would have been nice, except it's not going to the right place. So with that, that would have been nice as well. And so with that, all the ones with the nice, that, that, and that would have been a dead cert, but wrong place. As this is that one. Thermic is fine. There we go, biotech. Really, really stocking up on these. Yeah, let's stick them in the... Uh, there. There's a lot of ones that I would take if there was nothing else on offer. See, biotech grade 5, only 3. Um, that's one that I would come back to after I've checked all the other missions 
There's a lot to go through here. All right, let's let's try these. Oh, look at these, so sweet. But they're not going to the right. I'm not worried at all here about the amount of money. You know, I just want, like on this one, 19.7 million. Um, if you take the biotechs, then you lose a couple of million. Others, you're going to lose a lot more. Uh, <clears throat> I'll see if I can find one. Right, conductive polymers, 2.2 million for the mission. If you take the conductive polymers, you only get 970,000. I'm not in this for the money. Conductive polymers, grade 4. So let's just keep looking for grade 5s first. Because grade 5s you can trade down for grade 4s. Nicely, you know. So it's definitely worth checking all of those out first before looking at grade 4 stuff. So it takes a little while to get through this. I mean, if I was really being um, picky about it, anything that's not at, uh, not a quantity of five of grade five, I don't take, and I just keep refreshing the boards until I'm full up. But because it's only two jumps away and two jumps back, it's it's a very quick thing to do. And yeah, you could look at two missions that are exactly the same, like two missions that are offering conductive polymers 5 and decide which one needs the least or well, the smallest cabins. It's my phone just dinging off. Um, let me just uh, silence my phone because people are going to keep bothering me otherwise. Uh, right, let's go back to the top. Now, I don't mind thermic alloys. They're only grade 4. So I don't mind, I don't mind to do grade 4s. I think this is going to be the last one. That's it. Oh no, I can, st I can still do another one. And nothing in here. Once all the missions go to zero, then your ships are full. Right, nothing in there that I want, and nothing in there that I want. But I still have a slot in my ship, so... Um, sorry, I'm trying to get, get my bearings here. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit... Uh, you know, well, it's not. It is a. It is cheaty, but only in the way that it's time saving. Because my alternative to mode swapping is to wait ten minutes, or twenty minutes, or whatever the refresh time is. I'm just saving myself time. That's all. And for the purpose of the video, um, I think uh, this is fine. Okay, so nothing there. I've got conductive polymers, that could be the one to go for. Anything in here? Security firmware patch, but only three. So no, this one is the one to take then. And we'll get them in the... Oh, actually we've got another one. Yeah, we can still do the other one then. Thermic alloys I think would be the best one. And that will go in that bottom cabin. Now they should be all zeros. And they are. Okay, so I'm going to fly off to... Um, Sirius Atmospherics, which is... All you need to do is just plot to Sothis, go into the system map. And just tag the very first Earth like here, A5. Just tag that as your destination. And I'll see you when I'm there. <coughs> right, we're heading towards Sothis A5. As you can see, I'm carrying illegal passengers. Um, I've not yet been scanned on the way in and out of um, Houses Reach, but on the way back, I do tend to run, uh, do silent running on the way in. 
Um, I probably don't need to, but but I do anyway. And also, you're going to be getting a lot of messages up here. Uh, all these are just going to say Sothis A5, so you can get rid of them. The other thing, uh, you might get some of the passengers wanting you to get them stuff, like domestic appliances and beer. I refuse all of them, and then they just go from happy to content. <clears throat> but it doesn't fail the mission, and you don't get, I don't think you get paid any less, but you certainly get your materials, so that's all that counts. Right, well less than a thousand light seconds in, obviously, so now we can target Sirius Atmospherics directly. It's just a tourist beacon, so we're just going to pop in, scan that, and then we'll make our way back. The houses reach and cash in by picking up all the materials, the material reward options. And then it's just rinse and repeat until you're either fed up or you have enough of what you need. And then We'll be moving on to pick up stuff like, hopefully, pick up stuff like proprietary composites, core dynamic composites, and uh, yeah, this is what I'm just going to try and spend some of my week doing. I won't have time to spend most of my week, but as much as I can, I'm going to be gathering um, grade four and five materials. I guess Dab's Hope is another place to try. Although, on this occasion, I won't be going there. Right, so power down, target the uh, tourist beacon and wait. And there we go. So, now, straight into the map, plot the route back into the system map of Rubigo and we're docking here at Houses Reach. Mission updated. Oh, it's okay. That's it. They're just location visited. You're going to get a lot in here, so try and delete them regularly if you can. A lot of clutter on the screen there. And we'll be heading back, so I'll see you there. Right, we have arrived back, nice and quick, um, into the passenger lounge then. And just start cashing in and just picking up all of the uh, Road 4 and 5 materials. You can pick up the cash if you want, but for me, um, the big thing here is... Uh, is materials for engineering. Um, if it's money you need, then uh, this pays pretty well. It's a few million each mission, and it's nice easy to do. You could be picking these up. Um, of course, the amount you get offered depends on your reputation. I've been doing Rubigo now for quite a while, uh, over the past few weeks and months, so I'm allied with every minor faction, almost to the end on this one. Uh, but the more you go from neutral to cordial to friendly, uh, the better the missions you're going to be offered. So you have to grin and bear the first few times that you go that you might not be offered as lucrative um, rewards. But I still think you might get mission rewards for, you know, four or five um, high grade stuff, so I don't think that really changes too much. I think it's probably just the cash reward. And so another five of those. And finally, another five of those. So what I would do now is go back to the top and I would start going through the mission board again. 
However, uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to be turning to something else now. Um, I don't <coughs> really have to change ships. I can still do this in the Beluga because um, it's just a case of hunting down high-grade signal sources. I'm sure you all know how to do that. So, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here and I'm just going to give you the name of the system that you need to go to in order to uh, um, to get this stuff. Now, I'm, I'm told at present, um, thanks to um, Commander Zarazenia, uh, who mentioned this, so... I don't know if you know how the drop rate is these days. This was mentioned <coughs> a couple of days ago, and you need to be going to HIP one one four seven zero two. Let's just bring that up. HIP one one four seven zero two. Get out into deep space <coughs> and start picking up. Um, high grades in here. Um, you can expect core dynamic composites, proprietary composites, um, and apparently the drop rate at the moment is pretty good. They are in boom, they've got a high population. So economy is agriculture industrial, which I'm sure plays a part as well. It's kind of skirting on the on the outside of the bubble there, um, but it's quite a distance from me. Although I can get there in 14 jumps, I can probably do about 9 or 10, actually more in fact, I can probably do more than, I think it's somewhere between 10 and 12 jumps this ship can do before it needs uh, a refuel. Let's have a look. This is my fuel star, and then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, so I can do 10 jumps before I need a refuel. Which is not bad. It's a standard fuel tank on this thing. But I do have it a bit more lightweighty. It's pushing out 33.57 jump range on this. So, uh, Rubigo houses reach <coughs> for the Biotex modified embedded um, exquisite focus crystals and then your, your grade fours which are your thermic alloys, conductive polymers, things like that and then if you want your core dynamics and your proprietary composites then you need to be heading out to places such as HIP 114702 um, while I'm, whether I go there right now is going to depend on what this is going to tell me Core dynamic composites. Yeah, as you can see, I am low, low, low on those. And proprietary composites, almost full up. So the thing is, I'm going to be dropping into so many of these high grades where it's going to be like one core dynamic and three proprietaries. But there's no other way to get them. Um, you can't, there's no other way to get core dynamics on their own. Unless you get a, a high grade that is just core dynamics, which I don't know if that even ever happens. But you can have it where there's three core dynamics and one proprietary. But I'm seriously low on those, so I think I am going to have to uh, venture off and get some of those. So I'm going to do that and we'll see what the drop rate's like. Um, yeah. See what happens. Right, so we're here in HIP 11702 and I'm just getting myself over 3,000 light seconds away from the local star and I'm going to slow right down. Even slower. Even slower. Something around 5 or under. Uh, let's see if we can start picking up my grades from 3,000 out encoded. Well, not really going to bother with those. Um, it tends to be a data beacon with a couple of bits in there. Not really bothered to, uh, about those, to be honest. So I'm going to untarget it so the ship can speed back up again. So from here, 3,000 out 
up, uh, up to about 100,000 light seconds we're going to be going. Uh, I'm going to keep retargeting the main star so I've always got it behind me on the uh, on the old compass thing there. So I know that I'm always heading directly away from it. You don't have to be traveling fast to find these. And if you're going slow then you can target them. Oh, in fact, instead of detargeting, just come back in here and reselect the main star, and then get yourself with the main with the main star behind you. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I pick up a high grade. So let's see how long it takes and what we eventually get. Right, well, I found my first one. It hasn't taken too long at all, so. Well, let's see what we're going to get inside. Now we can speed up to cruise, cruising speed. Uh, let's see what we're going to pick up. I'm still in the Beluga. I could have come in any ship, I suppose, but as long as I can, uh, as long as it's not too tricky to scoop it, uh, stuff up with the uh, cargo scoop, then I'm okay. Because I don't have any limpets on here. Um, probably would be advisable to bring collector limpets, but. I don't think so. I mean, because it's you can if you want, but you know you're going to be wait, you're going to be using up a limpet every time you jump into one here, and it's just going to pick up a, like a handful of stuff. Oh, lovely! Three cores and three proprietaries. Well, the proprietaries are nearly four. I'm going to pick up the cores first. No rush, of course, because they're all uh, the integrity on them. Um, are going to stay unless you whack into them. Now this is brilliant. This is great for a first, uh, first um, high grade drop. Three of each. That's very, very kind and generous of <laughs> the cosmos <laughs> to give me this. With every one you get three of each, so I'm going to be picking up nine. So this is going to take my core dynamics to 11 straight away from two. Let's target the next core. The proprieties I'm going to fill up very quickly. Oops, I absolutely just completely missed that one there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too difficult picking stuff up in this big ship. That's what a core dynamic looks like. <laughs> Same as all the others. Different colour casing perhaps. And now let's see what we've got in terms of proprietaries. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a couple of these and I'm going to be full straight away. Literally, I'm going to pick up two of them. And the third one I can't pick up because I'm already full on them. So one more proprietary and then I will not need any more. Wow, I'm real close to it. Look at that, it's right there. I couldn't get it any closer if I tried. That's it full now. So I'm solely looking for core dynamics as of this point onwards. So close up the cargo scoop. Retarget the main star so it's behind us. Into Super Cruise. And let's get to the next one. Well, here you go. And the very next USS is another high grade. And I'm only 5,000 away from the star. And m moving further out still. So here's a second lot. 
Not in my look now, it's probably just going to be proprietaries on their own. The other thing to look out for, of course, is Proto Light, uh, Proto Heat, and uh, Proto Radiator things. Yeah, I'm pretty stocked up on one or two of those, I think. I'm probably low on another. Proto Heat Radiators, Proto Light Alloys, and there's another one. Again, beautiful. Three proprietaries, three core dynamics. And these are all grade fives. Uh, this is just absolutely sweet. It will not take me long at this rate to get a hundred. If they keep dropping like this. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this, guys. S oh, smashing into debris, not doing... Uh, any any favours to my shielder ship? Bring a ship with shields. So, as you can see, the drop rate here at the moment seems to be pretty good. Um, I'm hoping it's going to continue this way. Oh, I didn't target it. There we go. Now, unlike the Corvette, the Beluga and the Cutter don't have big long noses in front of them, so you can literally be less than 100 meters away from it and it'll still scoop in. Well, with the Corvette and stuff, you have to, and the Anaconda, you've got to account for the nose so you're not bopping the thing up and down. This one's 72 meters away. Let's see if I can get away with that one. No. Nope. It's hitting the ship even at 72 meters. There we go. So yeah, it is about the same as the as the Corvette then actually. Because after about 100 meters, uh, you can clear the Corvette's nose. Right, there we go. So now I should have 20 already. I started with nine. Oh, sorry, I started with two. And then I went up to nine, and now I've got... No, wait a minute. I picked up nine, so I went to eleven. Um, and now I should have about twenty. You see, I'm a fifth full already, and I've only been here ten minutes. So, there you go, guys. I'm going to end it here. So, Rubigo, passenger missions uh, for, the, for the materials that we discussed earlier. And if you want proprietary and core dynamic composites then come here to hip 114702 uh, many thanks to commander Zarazinia for that tip um, it's certainly turning out to be a good one so I'm going to carry on here and fill up my core dynamics um, there are other grade fives but I think you know along with the material trader we can pretty much we can pretty much uh, trade down a lot of these and core dynamics are used in quite a few engineerings as well, I think. So, yeah, for me, this is what I'm going to be doing between now and the live build. Uh, so I thought I might just share that with you as a good way to fill in your time between now and uh, next Tuesday. So that when it comes, you're ready to do some serious engineering very quickly. All right then, so hope that's helped, uh, and I will see you, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.